All right, so this one's probably the trickier one you'll have with him. So the way I would teach it in class, three plus how many equals five. So you say, now what side will you start counting on? So it's a little tricky because there's numbers on both sides, but if you want to help him out, you'll never circle the side of the equals with a box on it. So you must end up with this number. So we're gonna circle five. That basically just says five is gonna be the number you end up with. So you have three and you're gonna end up with five. That'll definitely help him. So ending up with five, you have three. So we'll say get three going. Three, four, five. A lot of times the kids will go a little bit further and just remind them five is what you're ending up with. So you'll erase this, try it again. What are you going to end up with? Five. How many do you have? Three. Three, four, five. Are you gonna write five in the box? No, a lot of times they will because they heard themselves say five last. Make them count. The numbers under the box always tell you what number goes in the box. So then you ask them, one, two. What number goes in the box? Two. So then read the whole problem. Three plus two equals five. So now I'll show you how that looks whenever we're actually in group. Plus how many equals five. All right, read me the problem. Okay, ready? Three plus how many equals five? What are you going to end up with? Five. Yes, five. How many do you have? Three. Yes, three. Get it going. Three, four, five. Are you going to write five in the box? No. Think real long. What are you going to write in the box? Two. Yes, two. Read me the whole problem now. Three plus two equals five. Yes, three plus two equals five. 